Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, first, I want to say how y'all day going. Well, I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day. I want to say every day is a blessing. Um, today I want to go over one of the teachings of Jesus, which is blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We are all poor in spirit because we're all sinners, guys. All of us are sin. Is no is is none, not one that are righteous, guys. So I um I'm just learning, guys. All we can do is try and keep trying. The second note is we're all poor in spirit because we're all buried. <laughs> we're all poor in spirit because we're all beggars, and we need to ask God. You need to ask for God's help. That is, is the truth. That I never understood what really being poor in spirit is. You know, when we when we begin to follow God and follow the teachings of Jesus, I don't know if it, if I haven't seen it, y'all, but you know sometimes it does feel like it backfires in your face. But I got a word today. It says, "Do not despise." these small beginnings for the lord rejoices to see the work begin that's zechariah 4 and 10. you can't despise the small beginnings you can't be small you can't despise the small lessons you can't despise what god brings you through the small beginnings <laughs> because the lord rejoices to see the work start i know it's so many times I've had to take I went right up, right up for God and I had to take a leap of faith for him. And, you know, it felt like it blew up in my face. So it felt like I was wrong. But it's never it was never by my own righteousness. It was never by my own righteousness. It was never by my own work. It was never that anything I ever did was always because of God just being kind to me. You know. Um guys, I I I couldn't say how can't tell you, and just all honesty and transparency, I couldn't tell you how defeated I felt this morning. You know, how sad I was, how hurt to constantly just have everything. You know, this, this, this is not as one time, but not this time, but this is not, this has just been my whole life, you know, trying stuff and then blowing up in your face, you know. But I think I'm gonna actually hold on to this, you know, this teaching, this word. You know, do not despise the small beginnings, but the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. And I think the Lord does talk to us every day through our lives we, if we just listen, you know, and hear what He's trying to say and calm down, we understand. So, guys, I, I have, I, <laughs> I urge you, you know, don't despise it when things like is going in this. Don't despise it. Don't, don't lose hope. Don't lose faith because. The Lord is faithful to say. You know how many videos, I'm just being transparent with you guys, how many videos we watch, you know, about coming to Jesus Christ and getting left behind, about being a sinner, about being, about, you know, not being in the into the gates of heaven. Um, I want to let you guys know, the Lord is faithful to do a good work in those. And God is able to reserve those for heaven. And sometimes it's hard to come to grips with that reality that <laughs> with in the in the beginning, right? God, I don't know what scripture is. God said, "I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end." And that mystery right there, God is declaring the end from the beginning. All those that are going to heaven, the Father already knows that who are going to heaven. The Father knew of Moses before Moses was, and Abraham before Abraham was. Do you understand what I'm saying? The Father already knows the outcome of the story. That's true. That's truly the meaning of foreknowledge. As far as loving God, guys, and giving Him your time, if anybody is struggling with that, because I'm not exempt, I want you guys to know this. You don't love God because you're just a good person, but you love God because he first loved you, but because he first loved you. 
we um I know I'm very just kind of chill, but I'm trying to I'm gonna keep on. First, love does. God and love is such a powerful. Love is a force, God. You know, it's so powerful that it brought God down from heaven to die for us. Guys, my message got cut short. I want to say I love you guys. Be blessed in my name is Jesus. Amen.